Yo, what's up, everybody? This is JT back with another podcast. Today's number 57, I believe, 57, 58. And, yo, shout out to us for making it through all the, the difficulties of life. And today, I'm blessed enough to say that I did introduce a baby girl into this beautiful world. Round of applause. Baby Isla Rose Trujillo came in at like 6 pounds, 10 ounces, 20 and a half inches. She was a tall girl. I watched her take her first steps into this world while she glid across the air as the doctor birthed her. But I saw, when you see a, uh, a baby get birthed, it's quite the experience. And if you don't just have an automatic protection mode over you with that baby, then something's wrong with you because I have a newfound hunger and just predatory behavior for this little ba- baby because I just don't want nothing bad to happen to her. And I just I can't explain it, but it's just a fu- it's just like that's that's what I'm doing. I'm protecting this baby at all costs. She's the best baby in the world. But um, back to current events. They released the um, Still With The Kids. Uh, they released the Uvladi, um Police Department. And it's as bad as you think. The video. Them boys were just pussying out in the in the hallways. But you know, that's just how it go, man. And that's what I'm realizing as I have babies is like... Um, you're really on your own out here in this world. Nothing really matters. You're really on your own. So, why not hold a pistol? Why not have a fucking knife? Man, did you guys see that? Um, I think it's from South Africa or Canada. One of these places where some youngsters were like at this mall fighting. And I've done this. I've taken out knives like this before too, allegedly. Ask my cousin. And... But this dude was swiping at these fools and they kept following him. And he swiped at one of these boys. He dodged it. And then his boy came up just all stupid. And he got fucking stuck, dude. Right in the jugular. There was one other incident I saw like this when the ice skate cut this guy's throat. And they had to... The medical staff was in Vietnam at the time. Like, he just came back from Vietnam, so he's seen, like, some of the worst fucking injuries. Shout out to his troops in Vietnam that died for nothing. Came back all fucked up. But, um, man. That boy, um, yeah, he reached his hand in his neck and pinched the fucking artery. He put his fist through his fucking neck, grabbed his shit, and just pinched that shit. Which saved his life. Else he would have died right on the ice. Like Hunter Biden. Those videos of him smoking crack. Are classical. I cannot get over this shit. Just with all the prosts. But yeah. It's crazy. Oh yeah. And the boys on creatine right now. For you kiddos out there. Also known as grown ass fucking millennial man. All the kiddos. Make sure um, you definitely try some creatine. Because that shit's fire, dude. The boy is just putting on a mad weight. Just getting bulky. So, shout outs to that, dude. To getting the bulk season. And then I'm back in the gym, too, with the sauna. I don't know what the fuck. You know what? Do you know what my theory is on why I'm fucked up right now? Like, my nasal congestion and shit. Like I snorted a bunch of fucking like I, like I snorted eight ball last night. Trust me, it's not that. It's either allergies, and I blame that on the COVID shots I took, or it's this bl- like at the showers at LVAC, Rape Central. Um, I saw like some flaws in their moisture system. And I, there might be fucking black mold growing in those showers. I'm not sure. But, um, I might be done showering there. I'm terrified of molds. Shit you can't see. 
damn so except if they're like the shroomies of course and even those you better walk walk with like some you better walk lightly on them because right when you think you got them bad boys figured out it's a wrap and you're in another dimension begging for mercy but it's cool too because I, um, I I got a camcorder to film like the whole process of my wifey's pregnancy and birth and stuff. I strictly use it just for that. At least I have one SIM card that I just currently have. I need to get more. But I have like over an hour and some of just small clips of just the entire pregnancy and stuff. It's pretty tight. And I can't wait to go back and look at those when she's older. Hopefully they're tight. If you don't hear her now, that's my little baby girl, Isla, in the ro in the crib right next to me in the studio. This is her first production right now. She a good bear. But yeah, I turned into a protection, like uh, just a full metal jacket sergeant around her, just spick spanning the house, making sure everything is good, feeding her. Just you know, me and my wife here are the best team, and it's great when if you have a team I can't imagine not having a team like she's great but I get a little emotional because I love her so much and it's my first baby but yeah but what else is happening you know I'm off for a good eight weeks with my, my paternity leave so shout out to a paternity leave eight weeks that's two months and I'm just like pumped right now, dude, because I get to spend time with her. And of course, I need to make sure the house is good, make sure we can build a good um, schedule, good rhythm. It's tight. And um, yeah, they said the, the US and the, what is it, the Euro are about the same right now. Hold on real quick, that's my mama. for the audio but that's real life right now but yo that's JT as you see I'm busy I got things to do I barely had time to do this so one time for the one time 